resurrección están fortalecidas por Cristo a resistir el poder de Satanás y renunciar al mal en todas sus formas en la preparación para las aguas salvadoras del bautismo. Bendito seas por siempre, Señor. Santa Crisma, this holy chrism, a mixture of olive oil and perfume, has been consecrated by our Bishop Michael McGovern and the priest of our diocese. It will be used to anoint infants after baptism, those who are to be confirmed, bishops and priests at their ordination, and altars and churches at the time of their dedication. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries of God's unconditional love, let us take a moment to acknowledge our sins and failings and turn to our loving God, asking for his pardon and his peace. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my faults through my faults through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Dios Todopoderoso, tenga misericordia de nosotros, perdone nuestros pecados, y nos lleve a la vida eterna. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We pray. Trusted to the church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant we pray of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it at the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake in it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day, shall be a memorial feast for you, which all of your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. that 
Lectura de la primera carta de San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, yo recibí del Señor lo mismo que les he transmitido, que el Señor Jesús, la noche que iba a ser entregado, tomó pan en sus manos y pronunciando la acción de gracias, lo partió y dijo, Esto es mi cuerpo, que se entrega por ustedes. Hagan esto en memoria mía. Lo mismo hizo con el cáliz después de cenar, diciendo, Este cáliz es la nueva alianza, que se sella con mi sangre. Hagan esto en memoria mía, siempre que beban de él. Por eso, cada vez que ustedes comen de este pan y beben de este cáliz, proclamen la muerte del Señor hasta que vuelva. Palabra de Dios. Jesus Christ, glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his son of Simon the Iscariot to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, in his power and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dried them with a the towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. And Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all clean. So when he washed their feet, he put his garments back on and reclined at table again. 
He said to them, do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do the gospel of the Lord. Good evening. People often describe the same event in different ways. When I go home to Chicago to be with my family for an anniversary celebration or with friends, it's interesting to hear the different stories of how people saw the same event. They were at the same party, but each one's version of it is just a little different. Stories about the same event? Sure we did. Have you ever wondered why the Word of God offers these two distinct accounts of the meal Jesus shared with his closest disciples on the night before he died? The second reading was taken from Paul's first letter to the Corinthian community, And it's probably the oldest report of what Jesus did the night before the night he was betrayed. We remember how that reading recalls the words that Jesus pronounced over the bread at the beginning of that last meal he ate with his disciples, as well as the words he pronounced over the wine at the meal's conclusion. That is the first account. Then the Gospel, reading from John, tells the story of Jesus washing the feet of of the disciples, seemingly giving that action the place of honor in the account of the Last Supper. There is no mention made of Jesus' words over the bread and the cup. What do these two versions ask us to ponder tonight? Let us begin by searing in on what Jesus said over the bread and the cup. He named the bread and wine his body and blood. In the culture of that time, body and blood were not seen as two separate parts of a human being, as we now assume. Rather, the people believed that God's breath resided in the blood. Body is the means through which that life force manifests itself outwardly. In effect, this is my body. My blood means this is me. The phrases linked with those two words tell us what Jesus meant by those prayers. He was saying, I am to be given up for you. I am poured out for you and for the many. Jesus' words refer to his death that will take place on the following day. His death will be his saving act made in loving service for the many. When he said, do this in memory of me, he commanded the disciples and us not only to repeat his actions at that supper, but also to follow his example of giving ourselves in loving service to others, even when it is as costly as it was to him. That kind of love is an essential act 
of humble service for his disciples. Foot washing was restricted to slaves and servants. It was something the disciples were to do and do. Can we see that the two commands that we remember on this night are really one and the same? They both call us to give ourselves, to pour out ourselves in loving service to our sisters and brothers in their needs. Tonight, the Word of God asks us, to whom do we now owe this service? For whom will our body be broken and our blood poured out? Whose feet should we wash? If we look around, the Lord will help us answer those questions. What a gift God has given us in our Holy Father, who bends down to the simple and suffering and reaches out to the forgotten of our society. Jesus and his vicar move and motivate us. They challenge and encourage us. Each of us hears in our own vocation the same command of Jesus expressed tonight in two different ways. Do this in memory of me, what I have done, so you also must do. We pray, Jesus, help us to think like you, act like you, and love like you. We ask ourselves, for whom will our body be broken and our blood poured out? Whose feet should we wash? Lavarse los pies fue un acto de humilde servicio para con sus discípulos. Se sabe que el lavado de pies estaba restringido a esclavos y sirvientes. Sin embargo, el ejemplo de Jesús era alto como he hecho también tú debes hacerlo. Podemos ver que los dos mandamientos que recordamos en esta noche son realmente uno y el mismo. Ambos nos llaman darnos a derramarnos en servicio amoroso a nuestras hermanas y hermanos en sus necesidades. Esta noche, la palabra de Dios nos pregunta, ¿A quién le debemos este servicio? ¿Por quién será entregado nuestro cuerpo y derramada nuestra sangre? ¿A quién deben lavarse los pies? Si miramos alrededor, el Señor nos ayudará a responder a estas preguntas. ¿Qué regalo nos ha dado Dios en el Papa Francisco que se inclina hacia los sencillos que sufren y alcanza a llegar a los olvidados de nuestra sociedad? Jesús y su vicario nos conmueven y nos motivan, nos desafían y nos animan. Cada uno de nosotros Escucha en nuestra propia vida el manimiento de Jesús, el mismo manimiento que se exprese en dos maneras. Haz esto en conmemoración mía. También nosotros hagamos, también ustedes hagan como yo he hecho con ustedes. Y en esta santa noche, después de convocar, preguntámonos, ¿Por quién será entregar mi cuerpo y derramada mi sangre?
Sisters and brothers, we are called to a life of service. Let us bring our, before God those most in need. Our response this evening will be, Lord, hear our prayer, escuchino, Señor. Lord, hear our prayer, escuchino, Señor.
Porque Cristo, el sumo sacerdote, guíe a nuestro Santo Padre, Papá Francisco, nuestro Obispo, Monseñor Miguel McGovern, presbíteros y diáconos, por la senda del sacrificio, roguemos al Señor. That the celebration of the Eucharist will be the center of the church's activity on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Escúchanos, Señor. Peque Cristo, el siervo humillado, inspire a los servidores públicos a dedicarse a los necesitados. Roguemos al Señor. that the sick and the homebound of our community may experience the healing and the strength of Christ through their communion with us, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para que Cristo, Rey victorioso, lleve a los elegidos hacia el reino de Dios. That those who died have shared in Christ's victory over death and especially to whom we remember at this Eucharist, Holy Rose, no. St. Stephen's, Holy Rosary parishioners, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. In esta noche solemne te ofrecemos esas plegarias en unión con la iglesia en todo el mundo. Oh Dios, escúchanos, aconsejanos lo que te pedimos. Por el amor de tu, su Hijo Jesucristo, que es el Señor, por los siglos de los siglos.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord put us up the Lord. Pray, the Lord. pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. En verdad es justo y necesario es nuestro deber y salvación darte gracias siempre y en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, por Cristo nuestro Señor, el cual verdadero y eterno sacerdote, al instituir el sacrificio de la etern eterna alianza, se ofreció primero a ti como víctima salvadora y nos mandó que lo ofreciéramos como memorial suyo cuando comemos su carne y molada por nosotros. Quedamos fortalecidos y cuando bebemos su sangre derramada por nosotros quedamos limpios de nuestros pecados. Por eso, con los ángeles y los arcángeles, con los tronos y dominaciones, y con todos los coros celestiales cantamos sin cesar el himno de tu gloria. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred day on which our Lord Jesus Christ was handed over for our sake and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Tyrogogus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service 
that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mysteries of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, for our salvation and the salvation of all, that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this presence, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Say the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Say the Savior. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father and prayed, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the light of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Acuérdate también, Señor, de tus hijos que nos han precedido con el signo de la fe y duerme ya el sueño de la paz. A ellos, Señor, y a cuantos descansan en Cristo, concédeles el lugar del consuelo, de la luz y de la paz. Y a nosotros, pecadores siglos tuyos, que confiamos en tu infinita misericordia, admítenos en la asamblea 
y los santos apóstoles y mártires, Juan el Bautista, Esteban, Matías, Bernabé, Ignacio, Alejandro, Marcelino y Pedro, Felicidad y Perpetua, Aguirre, Lucia, Inés, Cecilia, Anastasia y todos los santos, y excéptenos en su compañía, no por nuestros méritos, sino conforme a tu bondad. Por quien sigues creando todos los bienes, los santificas, los llenas de vida, los bendices y los repartes entre nosotros. Por Cristo con él y en él. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. gather together as a family of faith and each in our own language at the Savior's command informed by divine teaching we dare to pray our Father nuestro que estás en el cielo santificado sea tu nombre venga a nosotros tu reino hágase tu bondad en la tierra give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Este es el Cordero de Dios. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be yours.
Our communion hymn can be found in the blue hymnal, number 443, where charity and love prevail, 443. Where charity and love prevail, there God is ever found, brought here together by Christ's love. By love are we thus bound. With grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we Next number is in the blue hymnal, number 298. Stay here and keep watch. Let us pray. Grant, almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
God 